One way to help in securing your WordPress site is to make it as difficult as possible for the bad people to break in. Duh. One way to do this is to avoid using the default database prefix WP underscore. Now, if you have not yet installed WordPress and you have access to the one-click install program called Softaculous, then you can make this change before you even install WordPress. You can also change the database prefix manually after you have WordPress installed. The manual way is best done on a new install, but you can still do it on a seasoned site just as easy. If, however, you're not one to get your hands dirty, then there are plugins you can install on your already installed WordPress site that can do all the heavy lifting for you. These plugins might be a little bit iffy, and they come with a little bit of a learning curve. I myself prefer the easiest way possible, but in case something breaks along the way, I'd also like to have some idea where to look in order to fix it. So, this video is going to show you how to manually edit your database prefix in less than 5 minutes. However you decide to alter your database prefix, you want to have a fresh, full backup of both your files and database before doing this. Now that you have your new backup created, let's go ahead and log into our server's control panel. And in this demo, I'm going to be using the control panel cPanel. Oh wait, before we do that, I want to show you that this site does work and that hopefully it'll do the same thing once we're done editing our database prefix. So let's come on over to cPanel and we want to come on down here to our PHP My Admin. And we want to, oh wait, yep, if you've got multiple databases, then you want to make sure you're editing the right one. Now, one way to make sure you've got the right database is to come on back here to File Manager on your control panel. Click on File Manager. Come on down to the wp-config.php file. Select that. Click on Code Editor. And then Edit. And then right here is the name that we're going to be editing. So that would be the 248. That's going to be this guy right here. Now, I also want to mention that I'm going to go ahead and leave this guy open because once we change the name of our prefix on our database, we have to come back to our config file and change it here as well. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and leave this guy open. Come on back here. Oh, and before we get things started, let me bring in my timer here just to show you it is going to be done in less than five minutes. Matter of fact, spoiler alert, I'm going to show you two different ways you can do this. So let's go ahead and click on this. Wait, let's start the timer first, make it official. Okay, now let's click on this. Come on in here, and of course, a lot of this is going to depend on your internet speed because there is some downloading and uploading involved. But let's come over here to export and click on go. Navigate to the location on your computer where you want to download this SQL database to. Okay, that's done. Let's get this out of the way. Open up that directory because we don't really want to work on the one we just downloaded. We want to keep that as a kind of a backup. So let's go ahead and click on copy and paste. Actually, I'll keep this guy name copy as the backup and we'll open this guy up with Notepad or WordPad. Notepad will work just as well, but it looks like gibberish. So let's go ahead and use WordPad because there's some formatting involved here. Come on up here to home, go to replace and find what we want to find the WP underscore and we want to replace it with our new one which is oh let's give it a name GOTU underscore and replace all now if you've got a whole lot of funky plugins installed and activated and it's a real seasoned site you may want to go ahead and replace one at a time because some plugins will use WP underscore a couple of times in the path of that plugin and you only want to change the first instance within that path not all of them so when you click on replace all, anything in here that has WP underscore, it's going to change. So you may want to do this one at a time if you've got a seasoned site. If it's a brand new site with minimal plugins, boom, do that. And we're done. Okay, now then let's go ahead and cancel this. Let's go ahead and make sure, let's go through here. Yeah, okay, so we got that one changed. So we've got that one changed, we got them all changed. Click on save, so we're good. Click out of here. We know that guy is still okay and intact, so let's go ahead and upload this back into our database. Get this out of the way. Come on back up here. And let's go ahead and select all of these guys here. Let's clean out our database right now, because these are all still the under WP underscores. And with all those selected, we want to drop them. Get them out of here. Click on Yes. 
and they're gone now we want to come up here to import choose file that's the guy right there come on down here click on go and we're good click on refresh just to make sure come on back here to our wp-config file change that to GOTU underscore come up here and click on save and that should be good and come over here to our blog and refresh and if it's not broke then it's gonna work cool and we've got what three minutes okay so we're good to go now another way to do this since I've got a little bit of time left if you come on back over here come on back up here we can select all of these files or tables rather come over here to with selected replace table prefix click on that and right here go from GOTU underscore to WP underscore or whatever you want WPT underscore click on submit and there you are refresh come on back here was that WPT underscore click on save come on back here refresh and it's still working so that's two ways for the price of one in both ways we're done in under five minutes and how you can change the, your database prefix from the WP underscore to whatever you want that's gonna bring us to the end of this video on editing your database prefix in under five minutes. Thanks for watching and you have a great day.